This is not clickbait, I promise. I have a very genuine question, dilemma, scenario that I want feedback on to whether I've made a mistake getting this as my option for the audio solution for a podcast. Hello and welcome. Today we have an unboxing of a product I already have. That's kind of weird, right? Um, but I have the DJI Mic 2 on my chest, but we also have the DJI Mic 2 bundle. And this is not clickbait, I promise. I have a very genuine question, dilemma, scenario that I want feedback on. And I'd love any experts, anyone who knows about podcasts, basically the direction I should go. And the whole reason I got this is because essentially under our production company, uh, which basically produces this and some other um, clients and some future clients, we may be doing podcasts going forward. And I got this for podcast mics as opposed to the traditional recorder and um, you know the, the physical mic that will sit uh, on an arm in front of the person. I kind of want to run through and see what the genuine feeling is as to whether I've made a mistake getting this as my option for the audio solution for a podcast. And I've got some pros and cons as to why I think both either may work. But for now, let's unbox this and then we'll uh, go over the pros and cons of if I think it will work for a podcast mic beyond that. And then additionally, I do have, so basically I need four mics uh, for, for uh, four people on a podcast. Got one with my DJI Pocket 3 two in here and I have an extra one on the way which is an extra hundred bucks so then I have four I could mix and match my mics because I do have my other wireless mic system which right now is escaping me it's right here but I heard that you don't really want to mix and match your audio sources or your recorders um, having the same mic system would benefit for all audios being the same and I have to mess around with it in post so that's kind of why I went down this route now I'll go through what my other options may be it's going to be on the budget end anyway. So I think for simplicity, this could work. Either way, let's get this open. Box, bag, papers. Oh yeah, DJI sticker, my favorite. So really the star of the show is the case, right? Oh man, look at that. That is nice. I did say in my Pocket 3 review that the Mic 2, which obviously got released a month or two early before they even brought this thing out, that that was kind of the star of the show. Look at this thing. Obviously, the, the Pocket 3 is actually really good. Oh, it's got a little lock right here. So lock and open to reveal. Two mics and the receiver. What else is in the bag? All these silicon things. I've probably got 30 of these things already. All important. Wind muffs and an audio cable. I won't bore you with that stuff. Let's get these out. Okay, I love this. So pretty lightweight, this little thing. Um, okay, so little pins on the back for where you can um, put it into your phone. That's all the dimensions and the bottom. iPhone or Lightning, I should say, USB-C. At some point, this may go on my phone. I don't know. It's maybe it's a backup audio, but... And then the two mics. Very nice and sleek. Basically identical to the one I already have. One thing I noticed when people were reviewing it was saying the one downside to the case, which I like that, that locks, that's pretty cool, um, is... The fact that you can have the wind muffs on and in and stored at the same time. So I guess that's why they put the case in. If they could just have designed it where you could have had the wind muffs on at the same time. So that when it just sat in here, you got the wind muffs on or somewhere to store them. That would just be nice to the next level. Because then you would really wouldn't need anything else. You know, I was excited to see what they actually did with this version because knowing that I had this one for a month, two months prior, they hadn't released it yet. So like, okay, what do they do? They had a little dial on there and they, they put some cool features in there um, compared to the first one. Obviously the, the original was like the OG along with the road systems. It was more of a necessity more than one because I already had this one. I was pretty happy with it. I was, I said in my review of the Pocket 3 that I might get a, a secondary one just so I can have two for interview styles. 
um, which I obviously have now done, but then obviously got this as well for that one extra, two extra mics and the receiver to basically go straight into my camera because the Pocket 3 only has, um, you can only connect two. I needed two more. So basically, again, back up to, to the reason for getting it was the, getting the setup for a podcast. So here's my dilemma and here's where I went. And then I've gone back and forth on what might work here. So my first instinct was I already have one of these DJI Mic 2. I had my, the one I originally got, which was, I'm going to get it. Anchorworks. Okay. Let's open this up. There we go. So pretty similar setup and two mics. I love the, the round design here. I love um, the, the touchscreen, the big touchscreen you get in, can get on this one, same deal. You, you can connect it to your phone and whatnot, and you can charge it through this thing and this, you know, just really cool system. So basically now we have the two here. So this was my primary for a long time until when I got the Pocket 3, I kind of started using the one mic a lot because the audio quality is so good. You got the internal, you got the 32 bit float. So all cool stuff. And I like the fact that I just connected to the DJI mic or the Pocket 3 instantly. So very easy setup. So I've, I was going back and forth for, for things like this. I'd be using this though. Typically, instead of wearing it like this, I, when I first got the Anchor Works, when I first got this, I was clipping it to me in some way, whether it was on my collar here, whether it was on a shirt like it is today. But lately I've been laving up. I've been running this down my shirt, plugging it into the receiver. You can do the same thing with these because of the, the top. Same thing with the Anchor Works. You've got a little, and I've never used the wind muff on these guys. I always use the wind muff on this thing, but you got a little jack that will go in right here. Back to the podcast scenario. Now in this current scenario, my mindset is I've got four of these, two of these. I have a shotgun mic, got a bunch of wireless mics. So, okay, if I'm hosting a podcast and I'm producing a podcast and I have four people, maybe even six potentially or five to six, if I have all DJI mics, I either have my guest guests put them on like this lav mics or like you know attach it to their collar whatever it may be that would be my scenario because i basically have most everything i need other than i just now had to invest into the system so option one option two purchase the the recorders looking at this device which is you know um, you put xlr mics into it it records to it uh, it's battery powered put a 32 gigabyte card in control audio settings and obviously more traditional podcasts where you have the mics coming up onto a table, onto a stand, and your guests are, are talking into the mics instead of being mic'd up themselves. So that's my two scenarios, genuinely to audience, to anyone. And I'm gonna put a shout out about this as well because I generally want feedback and uh, my questions answered here if possible. Have I made a mistake by going this route? Because it's you might say it's non-traditional, right? Non-traditional to have people lapped up, you know, any podcast you might see, everyone's got the mic in front of them and they're talking into it or it's boomed in. For the same price, I could get that device up here, get a bunch of, let's just say, between 50 to to $100 per mic setup, basically all in for 200 to $400 on just microphones for four of them and, and go with that route, uh, the more traditional route. And it's going to be... The, the podcast that we have in mind are probably going to be around a table or two people, uh, four people, but to each side. So camera one focusing on two people, camera two focusing on the other two. I feel like this is the simplest, though. Biggest, biggest concern with going down this route is if I lab someone up. So mics on their collar, mics somewhere here on a lab mic and the cables running down wherever. And then you got the receiver in their pocket. What happens if inadvertently this comes out? Now I can monitor my audio through my Sony camera. So I have headphones on listening to the audio that's coming in, making sure I'm getting everyone I need, but that will only get two people. So then on the, on the pocket, which I have right here, I'll be able to visually monitor the audio coming in, but I won't be able to, to listen in with the microphone or with the headphones. My biggest fear there is we do a 20 minute, 30 minute, an hour, two hour podcast, and someone might comes unplugged. Now I've heard, uh, or I've been told that you can put your lav mic in and you run it through the little clip right here. Oh, right there. Okay, I just saw it. Didn't notice this. So right here, this little ridge, you can run your cable through there. So cable through and into your, your port, 
So then if there's a little bit of tension there, it doesn't come unplugged. But that's my biggest fear, right? Doing that whole thing and not having good audio. And I would have a backup, but it would probably be a shotgun mic. And obviously if everyone else is mic'd up, and one person comes unplugged and then I'm relying on the shotgun mic, there's gonna be such a big difference there in audio, especially with a shotgun trying to capture four people in one area as opposed to, you know, being here. So that would be my biggest concern with, with this setup. My flip concern is obviously the, the investment of getting, you know, the mics, because I'm not, I wouldn't be going high end, it's gonna be entry level on the mic, so I'm gonna get great quality Am I gonna to have to get arms as well as um, the mics, which adds to the cost? It's kind of single purpose, single use purpose right now. It's not at some point in the future, if and when this media company, Braxton Family Media grows uh, and we do more podcasts for different clients, then it would then make sense to obviously invest into that equipment. But at the point in time, I have one, potentially two that I could be doing for two different clients. Uh, and maybe it's like one, one, uh, one a month each, so two a month. This DJI setup mic, uh, the DJI 2 mic setup could be a lot more relevant and important or is easier, right, than that investment down the line. So for the same cost, I could return this and go down the route of the mic system. But yeah, it's a concern because again, not as versatile. You can, I'm gonna be using it in that and it's obviously not that portable. So if I'm lugging all this equipment around, What's the chance of damage? What's the chance of you know something taking a, a dive off a table or just the fact that it's more. But then on the day of a podcast recording, laving someone up four times is something else as well. So that's why I might just go with um, clipping it to someone's clothing. So it might just be simple just to have this instead of actually laving them up. There's a whole bunch um, and I do have a lot of questions. And I do have concerns of which route to go so if anyone out there has produced podcasts know more than i do about um audio for a podcast am i making a mistake with this system as opposed to the mic stuff so genuine question really would love to know and you know if anyone writes back in the comments then i'll be replying because i might have more questions beyond that and yeah that is my unboxing slash Hey guys, I have a huge question. Can you help me? So hope you enjoyed that video. A little bit lengthy for an unboxing video, but again, there's a little bit more context to it and appreciate anyone who gets back to me in the comments and thank you so much. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.